Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In the following video, I'm going to share to you how to take the public transport in Singapore like a pro. But first of all, I wish I can get your support by clicking on the subscribe button below. In fact, the reason I create this video is because in the last few days I have received quite a number of inquiries from my friends about how to visit to the places where I have covered in my recommended food videos. So wait no further, I'm going to show you now how to take the public transport in Singapore to any location like piece of cake. There are two requirements. Number one. First and the most important thing, you need to have EasyLink card or Net Fast Pay card. They are equivalent to an OPPO card in Australia or Octopus card in Hong Kong. You can get the card easily in most of the MRT ticket office or passenger service centre, 7-Eleven store or Changi recommended counter in Changi Airport. EasyLink card costs you $12 if you purchase from the MRT station, but only $10 from 7-Eleven store or Changi recommended counter. However, wherever you get the card from, $5 will be deducted as a non-refundable deposit. It was advised to top up at least $10 upon purchase, as the card requires minimum $3 credit to take the ride. There are three reasons for you to get this card rather than purchase the standard ticket. First, you no need to queue at the ticket kiosk machine whenever you need to take the train. It might take you extra few minutes in the queue or more if you are at a tourist area like Beifan MRT. You should save your time for a good food or scenery. Second, you can take a bus ride without worry about the change. Please take note that bus driver will not return a change if you opt to purchase a ticket in bus by cash. You might have to prepare a lot of coins if you are not ready to tip the driver. Last but not least, the fare rebate. Fare rebate by using the EasyLink card in travel is significant. You should already earn back the $5 card's deposit cost after a few rides. Attach the card and cash fare tables for your reference. Cash payment method will at least cost you more 52 to 77 cents per ride. Number 2 Next, you need a smartphone with the internet access. Download a free app godare.sg Lite from App Store. Open the apps and use the direction function. You can easily input the starting and end location. The best of these apps is you can use the current location as starting address. This is very helpful especially when you are lost and have zero idea of where are you now. After the input, it will prompt you all possible options of travel, which are bus, train, taxi or driving. Each of them also return fields such as route with particular course detail. You can click on step for the map details. Also, you can get a real-time update of bus and train arriving info. Zoom out the map and you will able to see the full journey details from point A to B. Actually, that's all I want to cover in this video. Surprise? Yep, that's so simple. Please leave me a comment if you need further assistance on how to take public transportation in Singapore. I have highlighted few important points in the next slide. Please take notes. Kelly support me by click on the subscribe button if you found this video is useful to you. Thank you and goodbye.